Episode 22. 22? 22. Do you know what rhymes with 22? Uh, why the word shoe? Aha, uh-huh, aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hope you like my poem. Welcome back to the guide world. I'm Waddles. I'm, I'm doing very well today. I, I hope you are too. And yeah, it's time to build and you know, look at the vine farm. I, I really need to harvest that thing. So I, I left you guys last episode with a question and I come back to you with another question and but a, a different question. Uh, so world tours, I, I usually like to do those things on milestone episodes, like like episode 25 or episode 50 or, or even 100 or, or something like that. And uh, uh, is it too soon for a tour? W- would you be interested in a tour of what we have so far? We have this area over here and then the, you know, like the starting area way, way back over over there and yeah I, I could totally do a tour but i i also could totally skip it um for now and just do it later so uh, let me know what you think down in the comments and uh yeah so today's build today we're going to finish up the sheep farm that we started last episode but i have a big confession to make um <laughs> it's not working guys and and it's not working um not because of the dirt that i put in here but uh because of my wiring i i didn't see and, and think about it and i think i saw a few comments about it but i realized it myself really right after i finished the episode um so observers um, they're meant to send the signal into the block behind them and then the redstone dust on top of that block picks up the signal and uh, sends it over to the dispenser right well uh, the observer can't send a signal into a slab it's weird it totally should be able to in my opinion but it can't so we need solid blocks on the back and the dirt needs to come out i i did have the dirt in there to hold the babies uh, back you know from getting into here but we don't need to worry about that with the slabs up top so um, long story short, basically, I need to go in here on both sides of this farm and replace all of the floor blocks with um, the the uh, stone, uh, full solid block things um, to make it actually work. Um, <laughs> because uh, I think ideally, I'd like to have a farm that that runs and, and works and, and does its thing. Uh, but with the... Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, without, uh, without the dirt there... Um, uh, the farm should actually work now and it did so uh, we'll go ahead and put stone brick in here um, for now and again in the middle we'll have color uh, i talked about that in the last episode i think um so yep that is the plan we'll come back to that part of the build in a minute though because we need to talk about the outside the front everything like that what i want to do out here because i have some really big plans and i think some some really nice and and cool ideas i mean um not to brag, but <laughs> and uh, for those ideas to work, we need we need some color in the farm, and I have a problem already. All of the sheep have been harvested, which means we need an on-off switch actually. But good news, the on-off switch is actually really easy to do. So um, we'll start with a lever there, um, and then we'll place a repeater over here to send the signal all the way down. If I turn the lever on, this farm is effectively turned off, even though the wiring is all on. As soon as, you know, the blocks update, like like the grass blocks, the observer will still try and send a signal uh, back, but the signal is already on, so nothing will happen. The signal will sort of be canceled out. The only big problem that I could foresee right now with this farm is the, um, the fact that we can't really dye things easily. I need some purple wool for the episode and what I'm doing, so I, I have a blue and I need to get one of these guys to turn... Um, to a red sheep and then we might as well dye some of the other sheep that we have in here too so uh can we we can dye a baby right uh yes we can so maybe a pink one um growing up now and uh i guess i have to wait i i can't do much here um i don't know if this one will actually move all the way over here i'm having issues with that too um will you follow me no you're like stuck there for some reason Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I don't want to waste my, my wheat, so I guess I'll wait. Um, that's okay. It's not that big of a deal. One thing that we can do while I wait is fix up some of the farm. So, okay, I need to be really careful here. But um, this should turn um, both of those over to, to birch. And then we'll strip the birch wood to match this wood color. Then uh, the same thing over here. You know what? I feel safer about doing it like this. 
I am not trying to harm sheep in the making of this episode, so we'll do that. And 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 that. There we go. That's good. And then the other end of the farm. Uh, this sheep needs to eat. <laughs> uh, so there. Uh huh. And then right there. We're good to go. Now we need to strip all those. So like that. Uh, like. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> There we go. There we go. So that looks all good to me. Uh, that should be good. And uh, back to waiting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, these two can be bred, and uh, pretty much all of these can be bred as well. I have a lot of sheep in there, as you can maybe tell. Uh, <laughs> but it's good. Uh, that's the point. The more sheep inside of this thing, the better, I think. Uh, so with all of that good and, and ready, we can turn this back to on mode. And as the sheep start to eat, this whole thing should be harvested. So now uh, it's time to actually do that. And then the rest of the build. Oh, 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 oh. And I have one more big request, question mark. I, I don't know if it's a request, but uh, you see how the wool is thrown out on the front. Well, on the front, not a problem, right? Like we can just do this and have lots of trap doors and place them and then close them, right? That will stop the wool from being actually thrown out here and it'll go on the ground. Uh, but the backside, that's the thing. Um, if you guys have any great ideas as to how I could uh, stop the wool from flying on the uh, out on the back, uh, you let me know about that, please. Uh, I can't place trap doors because we have redstone dust in there, so it just kind of is what it is. Uh, I can't run a minecart rail underneath because we have observers right underneath those, so I don't know. I really don't know what we can do um, other than just say kind of it is what it is for now. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, maybe I could put solid blocks there, but uh, I'd have to push them down because the sheep are in there anyways <laughs> so let's talk about doing this let's run a beam going all the way up no more stone brick stone brick was the temporary building block and then we might as well do i think this one right in here too i'm not sure if, what we're going to do up there yet uh so we have that then maybe we'll go uh one two three four and then on the fifth one we'll do a beam right like uh i think a, a four high beam yep yep and then I think we could make some sort of awning, right? Like covering with wool. Um, so like that. Uh, I just don't know if that might be too far, right? Like maybe we should move it in one block. Just just one uh, like that. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. So we'll do this, right? Like going down on the front and then uh, stripes. And the stripes need to be purple wool. So that's what I needed the purple for. And I sort of just have to wait on that there's nothing that i can can really do about that um so now we wait for the purple and, and we get some of this in uh the same thing over here we'll have the beams going up on the side and then uh back in that little area and then uh the same on this other far side and we will need to leave an access room so like a door really we don't need a whole building or anything like that um we, do, we just don't so yep a door should be fine um we'll just do that for now that's fine and then over there there we go now storage 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 i think we we want to use some of these new 1.14 blocks even more right like they're cool they're fun and i like building with them so um maybe we could take some barrels right and and place them where this dirt is like laying down and then inside of each barrel like above each color because we're gonna do uh like a rainbow um we'll do like the wool color so this one will be red right starting with red then orange yellow um and so all of the red wool goes in there all of the yellow or the orange um you know and and so on so all the way down with that i think that could be cool and would be a nice way to store all of our wool uh because you know we will make a storage building um but if we, if we have this thing running always uh i'm not going to want to like do five trips back and forth so we need a storage system over here and i think this is the perfect way to do it so i need a whole lot more barrels and uh yeah yeah okay uh barrels just about now check that's good now we need some sort of smooth transition from this wool banner stuff that i'm doing up there down into 
the barrel and i think we could do that with staircases staircases usually look good um, in spots like this so yeah I, I think this could work i i think that'll look the that should look good and then we could maybe even come in here with some item frames and place like a wool of each color on the barrel too not that i would need it you know i'll have the color representation right below it but um i think that could help detail up the thing a little bit more and and make it look cool i, I don't know just just kind of throwing ideas out there and this thing is going crazy <laughs> like the harvesting is over and over and over again i wonder if um which two could i breed um i wonder if you and you are you blue and red i hope aha you are you are you are cool now the other big thing the the big issue that i'm having over here is the land i, I need more dirt because this all needs to be terraformed i'd like to be able to walk not only under this awning area but also on the outside of it so i think if we just maybe yeah we, we just move this all up one block right because uh, down here will be this the uh the comment of the day wall and then we can just terraform the hill like straight up to like as far as we can without making it too crazy of a cliff i don't really want a crazy cliff so something like this if i just fill all of the dirt in in here um that should be good that should provide us enough room to walk around and sort of feel comfortable i i don't want this to feel like it's sitting on a ledge and, and it's about to fall off the ledge and then i fall off the ledge and it gets all messy and bad you know so uh you gotta stay safe out here so Yep, we'll do this, and I guess this should all sort of just, we'll chop down this tree and, and pull the hill all the way down and out and in front of this whole thing. It, it all needs to be safe, right? Safety is the number one priority. Oh no, oh no, who did that? That was uncalled for. Who shot at me? I see that over there. Hmm. Ah, there you are. There you are. Well, watch this. 360. Gotcha. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> you thought you were a sniper nope 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 and uh as a true form of brutalness we will wear uh the sniper shirt haha <laughs> so uh beam dirt chop beam dirt now i think on this thing over here on the front we need to to keep the beams in here right like going straight up and uh we'll just place that there for now um but beams in here and then a trap door and probably a ladder because you know if i'm being honest i'll probably fall into it so uh if we do a trap door like that right and then a, a ladder down to the the chest and then i guess on on the top for now dirt uh i might change all of this and, and do that differently but for now it'll work so wool over here as well i think i'd like to do three wide sections of white near um the beams and then i don't know we could do like two purple which is dirt for now um so then two and then yep i guess just two in the middle too though that should be fine i i think that'll be cool uh i do see that that needs to change uh oh no oh no oh no uh let's see do we have any aha we have three that's what i like to see i love the color of the purple wool by the way i think it looks really really cool just intense and and nice and that's absolutely what i'm going for so uh three or yeah yeah right here three yep well two right now and then the third one over here yep uh-huh that's good then we go uh two and then we go like that uh yep straight across all the way back good 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 and then over here uh right uh oh boy <laughs> uh you go away and you oh no oh no oh no guys oh no so there we go something like that that should be fine i i just need to wait for the the, the purple wool of course um on, on, to to do the rest so let's talk about this room over here do i have the birch on me i do okay cool so Let's do this. We'll we'll do it like a slab flooring in here. I think that could look cool. And then maybe we go along the bottom of the build and do like like birch logs that will strip and um, that'll match like this wall right here. So then on the other side, we should probably do the same wall stripe, just going up to keep things all symmetrical and everything. Uh, but there's a catch. I I'd like to place a minecart access area in here as well, and that access point would need to. Ah, 
Mm -hmm. Well, that made it easy. Uh, the access point would need to be like like down, go, going down, right? So we could do in here, maybe like a ladder that goes down, I don't know, like like that, right? Just to go over, uh, should be fine. Um, what are we, okay, so yeah, so we are lined up. So we'll do this, right? Strip all of that, um, I guess that too. And uh, yep, something like that. Then slabs, not, not the spruce ones, but like that, right? So we can just walk right up over it. Uh, we'll do oak though. I think oak, well, spruce doesn't look bad, but I think we'll do oak slabs in there. And then probably the same thing down, way, way down at the bottom, uh, just to keep things all symmetrical and everything. Uh, and we can actually fit in here now, so that's good. <clears throat> then um, if I ever need to get in here, I can just dig this out and, and move around. I don't know if I'll ever really need to access that though. So not too worried about it. That should be all fine and good and, and cool and great. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. Aha, uh -huh, just in time. <laughs> uh, I guess we fill this in with oak. And just because why not, we'll place a torch down here to make things nice and bright. Not that I, I need any lighting. Well, maybe I do actually. Baby zombies could spawn on that, which would be a problem. So there we go. That's good. That's that's all cool looking. Um, this wall. So this wall should, should definitely be birch as well. So we'll go up like that. And then, hmm, the ceiling. What do I want to do with the ceiling in this place? Well, you know what we could do? We could just make this look like a cave, right? Like on these other walls. I think that would look fine. Um, so if we wrapped that up to the ceiling too, and just kind of created a variation, and then we can cover it all up on the outside with, with dirt, right? Just move the hill. Um, yeah, that looks good to me. Uh, maybe we do another beam on the other side of where the door will go, keeping things symmetrical again. I feel like I've said that word a, a trillion times now. Uh, something like that. That looks good. Um... Uh, a little more stone in here, maybe. So there and there. Cool, cool. A torch for now. Um, these need to be stripped. I need my tool. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. That looks pretty good to me. I, I'm happy with it. Now we just need the outside done, which means some sort of roof on this thing. I think we could probably get away with spruce spruce would match the barrels we haven't used as much spruce on the build that i usually would like um and so we'll just do a little okay <laughs> just a tiny bit um maybe we do there 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 uh no maybe not <laughs> maybe not maybe not maybe not hold on maybe something like that i don't know it's it's not the best but i think it works it's fine right like like it, it's cool um uh, i'm okay with it uh I think to make it look even better, though, we could go, like, back. Like, it's actually going into the hill, right? Like that. Um, yeah, I, I think that fixes it. Or you know what? You know, you know, you know. We'll go one more, right? Like, past past where the, the thing ends. So, so we have a roof line going in there. And then finally, a door. We need a way to keep the bad guys out, even though the bad guys shouldn't really be going back here. Um, and this is the way. So a, a door just like that. There we go. Fine. Perfect. Cool. That's good, uh, and, and nice and settled. So what's our purple wool uh, to? And you know, real quick, let's see what we have back here. Uh, how much wool? We have some red, uh, three, okay. That's it, that's really not that bad for the whole time this has been running. Uh, maybe it's not even a problem and I, I just don't need to worry about it. I like that, cool. Now, while I wait for the purple wool, let's talk about a little bit of detailing. So uh, on the sides here, we could go maybe maybe two fences and then a gate, right? To, to keep things cool, then two fences and, and, and two, and then gates all the way across the front. I want this banner to look like it's being supported, right? Like, it needs to be strong. So maybe we, or you know what, maybe we do this. Uh, we'll pull this one out here, yep, and then do that. So we have that shape there, then the same shape over there, but not on the side over there. So uh, like that too, and then... Uh, all the way yep uh two 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 one one <laughs> so that gets some detail in there and kind of helps support all of uh, these beams i think that looks looks good like that i don't know if it's necessary to antagonize the sheep with a furnace either so maybe we can move the furnace um i would say in here but we you know honestly don't really need a furnace in here so Maybe we'll just leave the furnace out of this build. Uh, the crafting table will come back in. 
um, somewhere. Um, but yeah, so there we go for now. I will set those over there. And yeah, I guess it's waiting time for me to, to just to get the purple wool. It's not taking that long. Um, I should just probably turn the thing off and, and dye some more sheep purple. We'll do that. And while I'm at it, I, I think I'll do some yellow as well. I, I love yellow wool too. So we'll do some yellow. Oh, 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 and one final thing. I I think it's time I will start moving all of this wool over to the new storage area because I have that idea figured out and I'm pretty content with, with what I'm thinking. So, yep. <laughs> uh, I still can't get over the crawling mechanic. It's, uh, it's funny. Um, <laughs> that's different. Oh, 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 oh. You know what? We might as well do it uh, now. Like, like instead of waiting, uh, but lime dye, I, I've seen a lot of, of you guys telling me, Waddles, you know, you, you can make lime dye with the, the sea bagels, and honestly, I completely forgot. It, it's something that I knew, right? But it's just something that I don't really think about. So uh, let's go ahead and grab our first sea pickles of the world and smelt some up into lime dye and get some green in here as well. Um, so three, we might as well get eight, right? Like, and just smelt eight so three and then uh two there we go where'd you go ah there you are yes perfect now does this work can i darken oh well i i mean i have cactus already i could make cactus green but uh can i darken the lime dye with with black um like that? no ah hmm. that's weird i i kind of don't understand um i don't know Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. So, uh, the purple is almost done. I need six more. Six is not bad at all, if you ask me. So, uh, while I wait for that, I think it's time to to talk about expanding the path over to here and, and to do some sort of fence border. So, uh, the fence. Um, we have, you know, quite a drop now. And uh, with the drop comes danger right so i think uh we need to do like a more a more structured fence in here so like maybe we go like two up like that with spruce and then uh like strip it or something uh just to make it look a little a little better and yeah pretty much like getting these things in going all the way along um this cliff edge here um they, i think that's just the safe way to do it um and and you know it if you look at a cliff in real life like a tall tall cliff um there's usually like a a, a wall or something to protect it so i i think that's what we'll do um I, I need to go get some more spruce wood but yeah something like that um just going over to like here i think should be fine then in between we'll do uh, oak fences oak fences uh, are fine they look good um and and yeah and then on the path uh, just the same old path that i've been doing for now um we're, we're going to switch it up soon don't worry um <laughs> it won't be the same path all over this whole world but yep same path uh, in here for now i'll just kind of spread it everywhere i think um and yep that's that's kind of the plan uh maybe maybe we wrap it around i don't know yet you know, yes, 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 yes. We should wrap it around. Uh, we might as well connect it to this area. So the the road over here will will continue straight, right? Just you know, keep going the way it's going, and then uh, it'll turn right here and go down the hill a little bit over to the sheep farm. I think that's the easiest way to do it and uh, the best way to do it. So this will just go right down in here. Pretty easy. Pretty pretty nice and and also just like straightforward you know so i uh, i guess i'll just do steps going up the mountain um that is the plan though that is is the plan all right uh all of the paths are in and now i need to show you guys a, a trick that i like to do so we'll put the blue bed away um the blue beds work for this but but they're not my favorite my favorite is a white bed so um crafting table over here i'm i'm leaving it uh in the corner i think and uh, let's see let's see <laughs> uh maybe right there right we put a bed that looks fine then we need um some signs and we'll we'll just stick with plain old ah you know what no 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 let's stick with 
um, fancy spruce signs. So here we go. And then uh, there, right? No, no text. And over here, there. This is a bench that we can use, and I don't know. <laughs> I, I love doing those things. They're, they're really fun to do. Um, and yeah, I, I think they're cool. Uh, and they add a nice little uh, touch, you know, to, to what we're doing. And yeah, if we're ever over here and it's nighttime, we can easily lay down and sleep, and it's not a problem. Now next, um, lanterns. Torches are an, an, an absolute no-go. No, no, no. So... Seven lanterns. Oh boy. Let's see what we can do with these. Um, can we hang these from fences? Yes, we can. That's good. That is good. Oh, I didn't do any fences in the middle. I should definitely do some there. Um, if I put the fences in the middle, then I can uh, hang some lanterns from there. So that'll be cool. Uh, I guess we want two, one, right? Yep. I I think so. Two, one. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. So lantern, uh, lantern. That probably won't do it. Um, where's the lighting? I. I can never find it. Uh, there it is. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it kind of does it in 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 here, like underneath the thing. Uh, okay, that's fine for now. If we place some out here, though, um, we'll get even better lighting, right? Like all the way around uh, these these le ledges, like all the way around the ledges. That's cool. Uh, then we could actually use a torch on this building. That's fine. I think that's kind of cool looking. And then probably a few more lanterns down over near the entry path. So maybe one there and then, yeah, one there. That that should be good. I, I think that'll light up pretty much this whole area. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'll kind of have to wait till night till nighttime. Excuse me. I can't talk right now. Um, I'll wait till nighttime and, and see what's going on, but it should be good. Now... Uh, yes, we have more than enough uh, purple, so here we go. Um, that is good and finished, uh, and I, I, I think it looks good. Um, so purple goes over here. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 uh, detailing. We need a, a little bit more details in here, I think. So uh, first, we'll do this on the crafting table, right? Uh, give it more of a barrel look, and then next, we'll do some hay bales. Hay bales definitely belong over here. I just don't know how many we want yet so we'll start with four and we can lay these things just kind of randomly around in here it's okay if the path gets narrow over here we can always cut through and cutting through is fine it'll work uh so maybe there uh let's turn this one though let's say you um go like that uh then what else uh oh i know what else we could put in here aha uh -huh, i know we can make one of these things um which we haven't talked about yet, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> but we can make one of whatever these things are and put it over there because uh, I, I heard something about this belonging with the sheep. So let's see, where could we put this? Um, maybe over there. That's kind of a nice spot for it, I think. And we can actually leave the furnace there. I think the furnace is fine. The chest will stay there too, probably for storage and stuff. And then, I don't know, let's place a barrel... Um, over here, just just kind of there for, for detail mainly. Um, I don't think I'll actually store anything in it. Maybe I will, I, I don't know. Um, now I need to go back over to the wagon for one final thing. Bone meal. So we, we have a lot of grass in here, and that means we need to definitely grow some plants to, to make the area look good. But this is the thing. Uh, the two high grass, uh, that's definitely a no-go. And uh, the one high grass, that's okay for now, but... I, I, I might decide that it's just a little much and, and switch it out later, but yep, for now, that's good. Let's add that over there and then one down here as well to sort of uh, end that up, uh, make sure it looks strong, and oh man, I think we're pretty much done. I think this is, oh, the frames, the frames, the item frames, I can't forget about those. Now, these item frames were meant to be for the wool, so we can sort of label what color is where and, and, and what, uh, but I need a lot of sticks. Um, item frames are very, very expensive in large quantities, uh, but there we go. Okay, so let's try and place these on the front of all of the barrels, uh, right, like that. And then over here, uh-huh. And then the colors, so... Uh, we can still access the uh, the barrel really, really easily by just looking at the bottom of it. And then I think we'll 
yeah, place all of the colors on that. Uh, it almost makes it, it look like these barrels have like a knob, like, like they're drawers or something. Um, I guess this would be a little high for a drawer in, in real life, but uh, this isn't real life, so uh, we can do a, exactly whatever we want. And this is what I want. <laughs> so, uh, yep, there we go. I don't know. I feel like that's a cool uh, way to do things. And maybe I end up not liking it and, and wanting to change it later, but I think for now that's that's really good looking, and I am indeed uh, very happy with it. So what do we have in here? Oh, wow. We have a lot in here. Aha. Now, this is the thing. I, I think if I were to be doing, you know, like a large-scale project, like something that needed a lot of magenta wool, then I would probably come over here, turn the thing off, and convert as many sheep over to magenta as possible, let it run, um, like turn it back on, and then I should have lots of whatever color I need in, like, no time. So right now, it's, it's not going to be very efficient in terms of, you know, stocking up on a bunch of colors. But eventually, uh, or if I convert things over to one color, I think it would be. So that's probably the best way to use this farm if you if you build it just all one color uh, or whatever color you need and I can do two because I have two separate sides but um, but yep 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 I I I think I love it I I think I'm super happy with how this ended up but what do you think uh, share your thoughts with me down below and and I hope you enjoyed this episode we will absolutely be uh, finishing up the colors that are missing we have a few missing colors too to be exact um, soon when we need them so uh, yep plan on that and uh, thank you for watching go have a good day my name is Waddles and I will see you next time goodbye everybody <laughs>